Hello ethical hackers and welcome to this video. Today we will solve the lab of deluxe fraud in Juice Shop, which basically requires us to obtain a deluxe membership without actually paying for it. So let's jump right in. So the first thing we need to do is to navigate to the deluxe membership section. And here we are presented with a page where we get all the perks of being a deluxe member. So we get exclusive deals, resistible offers, free and fast delivery, which is obviously very interesting. But $49 is a bit steep. Let's see what we can do to get this membership for free. So let's click on become a member. Here we are presented with our payment options page where we basically set uh, the, the preferred payment method. Uh, for this lab, we would like to see if we could manipulate this button right here and enable it. All right. So to do that, we uh, launch DevTools and just investigate here what we can do. Um, so here we can see the button, uh, the wallet payment button, and we can see that we have a mat button disabled. Since it contains the word disabled, I would like to remove it and just verify what happens. There you go. So it, at least visually, it looks enabled, but if we click on it, nothing really happens. So we continue and we see that we have another attribute disabled true. So we would like to remove this one as well to verify if this actually enables the button. Um, so let's try to, before we actually click on the button, let's turn on the intercept in Burp Suite and click on pay. There we go. This actually generated a post request. So this means we were successful in bypassing the client side control by enabling the button. All right. So how, what do we see here? If we expand this here, uh, we can see the request and we can see that the payment mode is the wallet. All right. And now this is very interesting because as I mentioned, I have zero dollars in my wallet, but nevertheless, uh, it, it seems to be working at least. So what can we do if we send this to repeater? Um, there we go. And just to see what kind of response we're getting here. Send. Ah, unfortunately, we have insufficient funds in my wallet. Surprise, surprise. All right, uh, not a very big surprise. But anyway, so what can we actually do here? So here you need to be curious. You need to try some things out. So the first logical thing to do is what would happen if we would actually remove the payment mode? So just send uh, an empty payment mode. Okay, so let's go back to repeater. We remove the wallet and send the request again. All right. Now we can see that we have succeeded and we get a confirmation saying, congratulations, you are now a deluxe member. And we also get a token here. Now, this is very interesting because although I don't have any money in my wallet, I managed to actually pay $49 or at least in theory, pay $49 and thereby obtain a deluxe membership. So to summarize, improper input validation represents a serious security flaw. As we saw, I could easily bypass the client-side controls by simply modifying the client-side code, and thereby having full control over the data that is sent to the server. This would not have been a problem if there were controls implemented on the server side. So essentially, relying solely on client-side controls for security is a bit like security through obscurity. It assumes that hiding logic will deter attackers. But in reality, malicious actors can quickly analyze and modify client-side code to identify and exploit vulnerabilities. All right, guys, that was it for this video. Now I'm going to relax and enjoy my deluxe membership. If you have learned something valuable today, I would appreciate it if you could drop a like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.